Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another Halloween tutorial. This is a super easy drip mask inspired by the amazing lip drips from Vlada Haggerty on Instagram. I'll link her down below. But basically it's a super simple makeup tutorial that really only requires two to three products outside of your everyday makeup routine. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I am applying a white base. I wanted the effect of this mask to be super opaque at the bottom and then kind of fade into a gradient up top towards my forehead so to ensure that the pigment that I'm going to be using has as much impact on there as I want I'm laying down some white as a base so that it really pops against that and kind of fading it up for the pigment the only shade I'm using in this entire look is makeup geeks liquid gold pigment I am adding a little bit of mixy medium for me this is Inglot's dual line but you can also use elf as a mixing medium or if you want to water you don't need to buy anything really for this you just want to foil it so it applies as a liquid and then dries down to a powder. I'm starting over that white base. That way I get, like I said, maximum pigmentation and then I'm blending it all the way up towards my forehead. One of the nice things about this look is you really don't have to be too precise with that mask boundary there on the bottom because you're gonna be applying those drips later on. You can afford to be a little bit messy and imprecise as long as you get the overall shape right. So now here I am applying that pigment. I want full opacity on my eyelids as well, but once that is done pretty much from the eyelids up, I just go in and fade it out up towards my hairline. Up next are the eyes. To make sure they have a little bit of subtle definition, I'm going in with the Neutrals palette. This is the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2, but really whatever matte neutrals or even shimmery neutrals we have in your collection are just fine. Here I'm just taking a matte kind of cool tone brown two to three shades deeper than my natural skin tone and brushing that through my crease using a fluffy crease brush. Up next is the highlight. I'm taking a softly shimmering cream shade and applying that to my brow bone as well as my inner corner. Then last for shadows, I'm taking a deep matte smoky gray and applying that to the outer corner, really using a fluffy flat shader to get a pretty broad application out there and then using it to blend throughout my crease. The only thing I'm really sure to do as I'm blending all of these shades together is just to make sure that a little bit of that gold pigment is peeking out at the center of my lid. Next up is liner. Here I am using a felt tip liner from L'Oreal, but really you can use any black liner you have on hand. I wanted to add some extra drama to the lid and do a more severe winged out cat eyeliner, but it's totally up to you. I just wanted to make sure the eyes punctuated the mask and they didn't just blend into everything. But really, however you like to play up your eyes on a more dramatic night would totally work for this too. Speaking of drama, I'm not only going to add a coat or two of mascara to my lashes, but I'm also gonna go in with some falsies. These are from Huda Beauty. They are the number seven Samanthas, my favorite as of late, on the rare occasion that I do wear false lashes. And then I'm going in with a black pencil liner to do my lower waterline. And finally, on to the drips. I'm just using a clear lip gloss with that same pigment that I used to create my mask. This is from the drugstore. It's Maybelline's Shine Shot, I believe it's called. They have a clear lip gloss and then kind of a shimmery lip gloss. Really any clear lip gloss you find from the drugstore or otherwise is going to work perfectly for this look. You mix it together with a pigment and then this is a cocktail skewer. Um, you could take the end of any kind of brush or wand, just basically any stick thing you have lying around, coat it in the mixture of that gloss and pigment and then what you want to do is apply it so it is right in line with the boundary of that mask. Then roll the stick whatever it is you're using away from your face. That way the product drips downward onto the rest of your skin. With this class in particular, I found I had a little bit of time to work with the drips. If I found I was too heavy on one, too light on the other, I could kind of pull some product up and over before it completely set. Obviously, as a gloss, it doesn't totally dry down at any point, so heads up, I would recommend you doing your nose last because those drips will make you itch like crazy as you're doing the rest of your makeup. But once they do set, they're still a little tacky, but they will stay in place exactly as they are through the rest of the night. 
on to the lips last part of this look i'm going back in with the original kind of mixing medium pigment mixture that i had to create the mask outline at the beginning applying that to my lips first before going in with the glossy top coat at the end and of course you can leave the top coat as it is here for a beautiful ultra metallic glossy look or you can go full on lip drip a la the inspiration for this look but just be aware that it will kind of trickle down your lower lip onto your chin and will stay there until it's ready to be removed. So just something to think about as I edit this though, something else you could do with this is get a matching glitter and apply that over your lips instead. But like I said, couldn't help but do the lip drip. So that's it from me guys. Really hope you enjoyed this look. I would love to see if you guys recreate it for yourself. Tag me at Daily Bailey B on all the social networks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.